AI can already write your code, fix your bugs and explain complex concepts. So are we doomed? Well, let's break it down because the answer might surprise you. Well, the short answer, no. AI isn't replacing developers anytime soon. But, and this is the part you cannot ignore, developers who use AI will replace those who don't write that down. And here's why. Tools like GPT are ridiculously capable. They can write boilerplate code, generate unit tests, explain tricky code, suggest architecture ideas, refactor, fix bugs, you name it. It is like having another developer at your desk, one that never sleeps. But here is the catch. AI doesn't understand your project. It doesn't know why you made certain design decisions or what your users actually need. How one small change might break five at another place. It doesn't own the outcome and it cannot take responsibility. And sometimes, just sometimes, it just makes stuff up, right? So that's where you come in. Now some devs fall into the following trap. Copying AI code without understanding it. And if you don't know why it works or when it might fail, you're basically pasting magic spells and crossing your fingers. So now more than ever, your ability to understand code is your edge. When GPT gives you something, ask yourself, does this really make sense? Is it efficient? Will it scale? Is it secure? The smarter you are, the more powerful AI becomes in your hands. And the developers who are winning right now, they treat AI like another developer. Use it to prototype faster, skip repetitive work, get unstuck quicker, learn faster by asking it to explain. But here is the difference. They stay in control. They review, they question and they decide. So AI won't take your job, but the job is evolving. Less boilerplate, more big picture thinking, more system design, collaboration and code review. Less typing every single line, but more leading the work. So AI might write more, but we still lead. So AI isn't your enemy. It is not your replacement. It is your tool. And the real question is, are you learning to use it well? Because if you are, you'll be more valuable than ever. And if you want to learn how to use GPT alongside .NET to build projects from scratch, I'm working on a brand new .NET with GPT for beginners course. It is not out yet, but you can already join the waiting list. Link as always in the video description below. You'll be the first to know when this thing goes live. But what about you now? Do you already use GPT in your development workflow or are you still figuring out where it fits? would be awesome to read your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. Take care.